Hi, welcome to the program. I'm Rachel Rubel. Let's get you the headline. The power of refusal. Not everyone and everything deserves my forgiveness. Forgiveness is considered a virtue, yet it's crucial to recognize that not every person or situation automatically warrants our forgiveness. We possess the inherent right to reject forgiveness, as not every transgression can be easily overlooked or absolved. This essay delves into the profound notion that we possess the very right to decide whether to forgive or not. In this out of the line society, there is a pervasive belief that forgiveness is a universal obligation, an exception thrust upon individuals regardless of the offense against us. However, the truth remains: not every person or incident deserves our forgiveness. It's essential to comprehend that granting forgiveness is deeply a private choice. Which should not be taken for granted. First and foremost, forgiving does not mean condoning or forgetting the scars triggered by others. It's not an eraser which wipes away the pains and transgressions. Instead, forgiveness simply just symbolizes our ability to heal, grow, and move forward. Nonetheless, to oblige ourselves to forgive everyone and everything jeopardizes our emotional and mental well-being. We must recognize that certain wounds are too deep to heal through forgiveness alone. Second of all, forgiving without genuine remorse and efforts coming from the criminals to make amends renders forgiveness hollow and disingenuous. Truly forgiving someone requires acknowledgement of their wrongdoing and a demonstrable commitment to possible changes. By means of rejecting forgiveness, we assert our worth and establish boundaries, ensuring that those who have harmed us must understand the gravity of their wrongdoings. In the third place, it's crucial to bear in mind that the act of forgiveness. Is not solely for the benefit of the transgressor. It's equally, if not more, for ourselves. By means of rejecting forgiveness, we reclaim our power and reaffirm our self-worth. This act of self-preservation allows us to defend our emotional and mental well-being, fostering personal growth and developing resilience. The power to forgive is a fundamental right we possess, yet it should not be mistaken for an obligation towards everyone that's wronged us. We must acknowledge that forgiveness is a complex and private process. Thus, not all wounds can be healed by forgiveness alone. By asserting our basic human right to refuse forgiveness. We affirm our self-worth and prioritize our emotional well-being. In doing so, we empower ourselves to grow, heal, and embark on a journey towards a healthier and a more fulfilling life. Okay, with that, we come to this end of this edition of Rachel today. As always, we welcome your thoughts and comments. See you next time. Bye for now.